What's going on, everyone? So we are back in the furnace room. Man, I love this room. I absolutely love this room. But today, we're actually going to talk about this little guy here. Because I found some, uh, let's say I found a trace of fluid, which appears to be water on the floor. What I notice here is that our furnace here has got a little uh, spot of fluid. I say she sprung a leak somewhere. So this is our drainage um, uh, when it comes to our AC unit for condensation. She fills up in here. We got some fluid in there. You know, I'm honestly wondering if that may have sprung a leak and dripped down there and ended up here. So we're going to go ahead and... <clears throat> Put this bad boy up. It's always something when I'm trying to do this thing with one hand. Uh, I'm telling you, I am not, I am absolutely not the one hand man type of guy. Whew, loaded. We got it up. All right, so the furnace is still on. But uh, as soon as we move this, it's going to stop the blower. Let's go ahead and get this bad boy off, too. So now that pretty much stopped the blower because it's not pushed in. Just kind of want to look back there to see. Oh, we do got a leak. I do see something leaking. It's leaking down. See if you guys can see. But it's definitely something leaking there. Why is it leaking down from right there? Hmm. Man. Some condensation. Or some type of fluid. You know, some source of... I, I, I honestly wonder if it's condensation because it's like, it's cold, cold right here. You know? Because this is... This is going to the bedroom. This is our return. Okay. Man, I'm really, I'm honestly wondering what's going on here. This is definitely the return. And the return is definitely nice and cold. So I'm wondering, did somebody, you know, happen to pour some type of water or something? Uh, so now we're looking at pipes. There. Hmm. Oh, man, man. <laughs> you can't really, can't really get a, get a bang on that one. Hey. 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 Believe the issue is with our automatic condensation removal pump from our AC system pipes on down to here um, and that condensation is generated pump is supposed to pull the condensation down here and pump it up out the house I had to temporary tape it for the time being it's ugly I know the reason why we have condensation dripping down our unit it's because we have either a blockage in our line um, that caused the condensation pan to overfill uh, and thus um, our condensation pump not able to pump the water out because of that blockage or the pump has failed i got a good feeling that this condensation pump is much, much older than five years. And another thing um, over here, if you guys can see it, you can definitely see a whole bunch of garbage that's in that system. It's all just gunk. Um, I shine some light in there and I can see nothing but water roughly up to here. And it's just gunk. And somewhat 
see inside there. You can definitely see some some of that buildup around the pipe. Um, somewhat inside, you can kind of see the buildup on there. It's just, it's nasty. <laughs> what I want to do is check our PVC pipe, um, clear that out. Um, cause just seeing that in this tray, that is so much garbage. I'm pretty common, pretty, pretty, pretty sure that also in our line, we're going to find some sort of blockage going on too. So yeah, I can, I could just pretty much remove our AC condensation pump. I could remove it, uh, clean it up, um, and try to, you know, see if that may do it. Um, also clean up the, we got our valve here. We can clean that up. But um, again, um, it's so much garbage inside here. It's is it's not worth it to me. It's it's honestly not worth it. Um, I rather I could I could get a new one for forty dollars. Um, I rather spend my time replacing this unit for a new unit. Uh, for 40 bucks um, and get it installed especially since you know just look at this tab is tab is broken um it's just it's it's beat up it's it's honestly not worth it um this house was built in 1940s I'm not saying this is 1940s old but um you know i wonder if it's got it's got any dates on here hmm. I don't see anything I don't know guys I don't see any I don't see any dates or anything that indicate like when it was installed but anyway um, I'm going to just go ahead and hop on Amazon order replacement um, and what, once we do the replacement that will give me the opportunity to take this bad boy off, put some water in it, um, put a hose on this in here. See if I can find a hose on this in here and just see how this pump is working uh, on the ground. So, yeah, I think that's what I, what I may end up doing without making a true mess, which I'm pretty sure I'm gonna make a mess. See if we can get the pump to kick in. Alright, we're gonna try some more water. See if we can get that pump to kick in. Still nothing. It's like nearly a cup full. She still ain't kicking in. All right. This could indicate an issue with our floaters. The floaters could be clogged up. Um, I just had a flat here because the last time what I did is I um, tapped on it. that triggered the uh, pump to kick in, but right now, she's not doing anything. It's definitely a good amount of water in there. Um, like roughly about there. Uh, let's get some more water. She still hasn't kicked in yet, so let's see what happens.
kicked in. Still has some water in there, but she kicked in. Hmm. But we still got leakage here. So that's telling me that we could have a blockage here. So we have our tape removed from the panel, which will allow us to look inside to see where our condensation leak is. Hopefully we can see it from here. Now we can uh, pretty much look inside here to see what's going on. So I'm trying not to drop my phone. But as you can see, we got ourselves some condensation. That's just collecting on the side. I wonder if we can just get um, our wet and dry vac. Clean that bad boy up for the time being. Let's see. All right. Although this is not what I would recommend to do, but this is just what we got to do for right now to get us limping along until my um my dad. He's the uh, true professional when it comes to. HVAC systems so he'll be able to tell me exactly what's going on inside it's quite possible that the AC condensation pump the floaters may be clogged up they have two floaters so one may be working the other one may not, may not be working the pump may not be functioning there could be a blockage in the line there could be a blockage in the valve uh, there could be a blockage uh, in our PCV line um, it could be a number of things we're gonna use our vacuum cleaner. I'm gonna see if I have enough hose. I should have enough hose. Yeah, I got enough hose to feed that through. Yep, got enough hose. So we're gonna use our wet dry vac. See if we can clear up um, some of that fluid that's being built up there. And hopefully that will give us some time to limp along. We do have a replacement AC condensation pump coming will be here Friday. We got it hooked up. I uh, got the attachment on and it's taped up. Um, so that way when we bring her in, we can get her back out. I don't want any problems. No problems. You know. Let's, let's get her in there. Let me feed this in first. We're able to get some fluid from this side. It's that side that we're not able to get to. Look over here. We don't have anything to really quite let us get in there. But I'm not seeing any leaks here. However, I'm seeing historical water marks. See that? So this is telling me historically there has been condensation build up and it's just been leaking. And again, this is not fixing anything. This is temporarily stopping that water from leaking on the floor. That's all this is doing. Permanent solution is to, you know, identify our blockage, clear the blockage, and replace this old condensation pump. We could spend the time trying to clean it, but you know, I've been here for five years. Pretty sure this pump is older than five. It's trash. I'm gonna try to stick my phone in and see on the other side. Maybe there's nothing else.
it doesn't seem like it's really much leaking right now. I'm gonna go ahead and wipe this stuff up. Some of the stuff might be from, you know, uh, actual HVHC tape. It may just be trapped in the tape. It's not that hot outside, so we don't really need to have the AC on. Um, so we'll be good with just running the fans. I'm gonna put the cover back on here, uh, put the tape back on, buy some new tape uh, later on. You know, I, that's all I can do right now. I do wanna look at the PVC plumbing. I do wanna get to that part, but I wanna start that when I actually have the actual um, condensation pump. We were able to temporarily clean up some of that uh, condensation uh, fluid and um, once we get the new condensation pump we're going to remove the old one um, disconnect some of the uh, PVC piping and try to funnel through something to kind of jimmy through their plumbing uh, attachments so we can try to jimmy that through the PVC and see if that will unclog it so we can use that and Jimmy that through the PVC without having to cut the PVC. So I'll, I'll try these tools first, our plumbing tools, our little plumbing unclog tools, um, and see if we can pull out any gunk or anything of that nature. Of course, I'm pretty sure I'm gonna get some comments from the professionals and the other homeowners that have so much experience doing this and telling me I'm doing something wrong, but um, it is what it is, you know? Peace.